We are on the sixth day already on making Nigeria great again. Can Nigeria be great again? Yes, I believe Nigeria will definitely be great again. It takes me back to look at those who have led our country right from independence. We've had great leaders, both military leaders and uh, civilian leaders. We've had the Morita last. I will never forget I heard of that of a uh, retired General Aguan. We've had the Obasanjos, who came as a military president, came back a civilian president. We have uh, Shehush Agari, yes. We've had several leaders. But one thing I've noticed about most of the leaders in our, that ruled our nation is that most, time, most of them, when they come into power, they will keep saying, Oh, the people that ruled or the person that ruled before me did not do well. That I got into power and I've just discovered a lot of problem. So they keep pointing at the problem, keep pointing at the problem till they will end their tenure. For Nigeria to be great again, I want everyone in the position of leadership to understand that there is no how we will succeed in going forward if we don't stop looking back. Now, what do I mean by this? If we continue the blame game, I'm telling you the fact, we will continue to talk about errors and not do anything to move Nigeria forward. Nigeria can be great, but I want us to apply this principle. The moment whoever is appointed into the place of authority gets to the place of authority, let us know what you met on ground. And the moment you let us know what you meet on ground, start doing what you can do. Stop talking about the errors created by the past administration. Nobody goes forward looking at the faults that he made some ground. Nigeria can be great again. But just like I said, the moment you come into power, begin to look at what is on ground, look at the resources available, look at the problems that you met on ground and start working on what you can do. You know, in Nigeria, everyone in a, a political office has four years, except for the chairmen of local government that are given three years. Now, in your four years, there should be something, no matter the kind of error you met on ground, there should be something you should be able to fix. Now, let's not only talk about those in fact, let's talk about even every Nigerian. Understand this, the more we continue to point blame, for instance, the moment the former president of person John Lev, Yara Dua, of blessed memory, came in. Let's assume Yara Dua kept saying, Oh, it's Obasan Joe, it's Obasan Joe. He, he would have ended his four years complaining. Now, after him, we have good luck in Bede Chupi Jonathan. After him, we had our president Buhari. Then today, we have our present president at Tenumbu Nisei. We can't succeed going forward while looking back. That's why if you look at the car, it has a center mirror. You are supposed to glance once in a while. Just look at it. You have the two side mirror. Then you have your windscreen. The biggest screen you have is the windscreen in front. It's to show us that your major attention should be placed towards the windscreen looking forward. Nigeria has been able to rise again. But for Nigeria to rise again, the blame game must stop. What will you do with the position of power you have presently? Mm. If you believe Nigeria will rise again, let's take our pledge together as I usually do. I pledge to Nigeria, my country, to be faithful, loyal, and honest, to serve Nigeria all my strength, to defend <laughs> our unity, and for bold are honor and glory. So we go.